Hey guys, Gokesum for the one here, and welcome back to another Leaf Green walkthrough episode. In this part, I'll be showing you guys around Celadon City. Now, once you go through the Pokemon Center, come to the left side of the Pokemon Center and go into this giant building over here. Um, this is very crucial to actually go into this building. I do recommend coming into this one first. And coming over to the left side in this building and talking to this old lady. Now, she will give you a tea, which is a key item, so don't worry about using it on accident on your Pokemon, you won't be able to. But, you'll be able to give this tea to the guards that were thirsty and weren't allowing you into Saffron City and other routes. So, I'm not going to do that just yet, I'll probably do it at the end of the episode. But, once you go to the front of that building, you actually come to the back over here. But, there's also an item at the back side, so pick up this ether if you want. Um, I do think you should, just because... You should stock up on a lot of these for the final battle against the Elite Four. I think I've said that, said that before, but it's very useful to heal up your power points for the Elite Four battle. But then you can come into this building, travel up all these flights of stairs, and once you make it to the top, there'll be a little building here. And it's actually, I actually don't know what this is. It looks like a, okay, it looks like it's going to be a little school here but we don't need to learn about the link cable and stuff just because uh, we won't be able to do anything with anybody because I don't really have any friends that play this game but there will also be a pokeball right on the table right here and it's gonna be an Eevee now this is the only place where you can catch Eevee or get Eevee in the game so I recommend coming up to this building most people don't know about it but Eevee is a pretty useful Pokemon and it's actually going to be the next Pokemon that I'm going to be putting on my team, and I'm going to name it SSJ Coco. Now, the Coco is Coco is my dog pretty much, so I'm naming this Pokemon after my dog. My dog kind of looks like Eevee, but the SSJ, you guys can actually figure out what it means. And I also, I almost named it SSJ Coke. That would have been, that would have been bad actually. But anyways, that's going to be my fifth Pokemon on my team, and Eevee's a super good Pokemon to use. Um, it evolves, I think, five times. It can evolve five times in this gym, not in a row. Um, you can use stones to evolve Eevee, and then you could use the night and day features to evolve Eevee as well. And then on top of that, in Gen 4 and 5, you could evolve it using little rocks that you can find in Forest. And then Gen 6, you can evolve it using Friendship, which uh, evolves into Sylveon. Now, once you do that, you can come over to this giant, huge, colorful building, which is the Celadon City Market um, department store, actually, if you want to specifically call it its actual name. But there's a lot of floors to this place, and I actually don't know what you can buy in every single floor. We could check it out together. It looks like we could buy TMs here, which um, these TMs, except for Dig and Brick Brig, um, not really that useful. Hyper Beam, not really the best move in the world. If you want to run it, uh, you can. I personally just don't like doing it because I feel when I use it, then I'm just wasting a turn. But you can also pick up some Revive, Super Potions, Great Balls, the norms that you could find in Pokemarts and stuff. But before we actually continue on here, I'm actually going to pick up a Brick Break for $3,000. Now, I know it's a lot of money for a TM, but... TMs usually cost this much, and Brick Break is one of those moves that I want to teach to one of my Pokemon later. I think I have a Brick Break, but two of my Pokemon I actually would like to teach. Now, I don't know which one of these guys, hopefully, hopefully we're right on this one. Uh, it looks like we're not. One of these guys will actually uh, show you a move and will teach it to one of your Pokemon. It would, it's countered to be more specific. Um, maybe. Maybe, maybe it's the guy at the table over here. I thought it was one of the gamer guys, but it looks like, yeah, okay. It looks like the guy at the table over here is actually going to be able to teach your, one of your Pokemon counter. I'm not going to do that. If you guys want to do that, you guys can. But counter is pretty much a move um, that if a Pokemon on the opposite side of the field hits your Pokemon, then you will take no damage, but the other Pokemon will take double the damage, which is... A super useful move actually. And this floor over here you can buy some evolutionary stones, which I'm actually gonna buy one. You guys probably guessed what the SSJ means now. Yes, I'm gonna evolve my Eevee into Jolteon. I'm not gonna do that just yet though. You can also buy some po Poke Dolls, which uh, can help you flee from battles and retro mail. Um, I've never used mail in Pokemon games before, so I don't know what it exactly does. I think you can just send letters to your mom and stuff, but that's really it. And then, 
fifth floor here, we could buy some proteins, HP ups, things to boost your Pokemon EVs, um, which is, or stats to be more specific, uh, they boost EVs as well. But that could be pretty useful if you want to EV train your Pokemon, and then also you can buy some X attacks, X defense, speeds. Uh, usually used in speed runs, not more so in the normal games, unless you have to, uh, to actually beat a gym leader or something or a trainer at that. Now, the final floor right here is probably one of the more useful ones. I always come up here every time I go through a Gen 1 game, but if you come to the vending machines over here, you'll be able to buy some soda pops, fresh waters, and lemonades. Now, lemonades are a super good thing to buy, um, just because it heals 80 points of HP, and it only costs 35, or 3,000, 3,000, 350, I can't, I need to brush up on my numbers, but 350 dollars for a lemonade, that's how much it costs, uh, not that much, but I'll see you guys in a bit, because I'm actually gonna buy a few of these, and it's gonna take a while. Okay guys, I have finally bought all my lemonades, uh, you guys should do that because it's better than mine's super potions at this point. Um, it heals 80 points, which is more than a super potion actually, super potions only heal 50. But how much did I buy here? I bought 18, that should be good enough, you guys can buy around 20 or so. Uh, if you guys want to come back later on, you can definitely do that, but once you do that, and you come over to this girl, um, you can give her a drink, and for each drink, she'll give you a special TM. Now, TM16, I think, is Reflect, I think? Maybe Light Screen. Okay, it's going to be Light Screen. And then, with the rest of the drinks, so Soda Pop and Lemonade, you only do this once, but... Yeah, she's going to give you TM20, which is going to be Safeguard. Now, you don't actually have to do this. These three moves aren't very useful. Um, mostly Safeguard. Safeguard, uh, not really using competitive either. Safeguard is one of those moves, or in, actually you could use it in doubles, but it's one of those moves that you can use to not get affected by stats effects and stuff. So if you set that up, then you'll be free from burns, paralyzes, poisons, and then reflect in, light screen just raise your defense and special defense by 50%, I think. Okay guys, so once you finish in the Celadon department store, you can come over to this side of the city and come into this building right here. Now in the top hand left corner of this building, you could actually get a key item, which can be pretty useful. It's going to be the coin case. Now if you want to play in the game corner, which is up above this um, building, then you'll have to pick up the coin case to actually be able to collect coins and stuff, of course. So, if you come into this building right here, the first thing you see is going to be a bunch of slot machines. Now you can't play these slot machines without any coins, and the way you get coins is you buy them right here for $1,000 or $10,000. Now in my opinion it's not worth it because it's just a waste of money, but the prices are pretty good. Now if you don't want to spend that much money on coins, then there are a few hidden places around here. Uh, I think there's one over here somewhere if I can click A. Right there you can get 10 coins. And there's just a bunch of spots around here where you can just find random coins. Like right there, I found 10 more coins. They're hidden around here. Um, I don't know exactly where all the coins are. There's the 100, the 100 coins. Um, but yeah, it takes a while to find every single one. I don't recommend just wasting this much time in here because, again, it's, it's not really worth it. Unless you really want the prizes, which I'll show you guys in a few seconds here. But I'm going to collect all the coin places or all the coins from where I know they are. Uh, there's 40 coins right there, which is nice. And I think over here, there's gonna be 10 more, if I'm not mistaken. Right there, there's 10 more. So that's really all the places that I know of. Uh, I know there is a little bit more, but you guys can find them yourselves because I don't wanna spend that much time on getting coins. Anyways, the prizes are going to be in this building over here, and there's, they're pretty cool actually. But Dratini and Porygon, this is the only place where you can get them. You can't catch them in the wild, in the wild or anything, so if you're trying to complete your Pokedex, then this is definitely the place to buy them, because you're not able to catch them anywhere. Which is kind of sad, Dratini is my favorite Pokemon. I wish you could catch them, but that's not a thing. And then you could also buy some pretty useful TMs, which is going to be, I don't know... Which ones are which, but I know one of them is Ice Beam, one of them is sh Shadow Ball, and then one of them is Iron Tail, and then Thunderbolt and Flamethrower. Hopefully I got this right. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then also, this guy right here, he will send you, or he will, he'll 
sell you some pretty useful battle items, but we're not going to pick those up because we don't need them. Anyways, that's really it for Celadon City. Um, there are two more things that you can do, which is the gym leader and then a Team Rocket thing, but we'll do those in the next two episodes. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, go ahead and tell me in the comment section down below what you liked and also what you didn't like. I'd really appreciate appreciate the criticism that can improve these episodes and make them more entertaining for you guys. So anyways, if you guys like this video, shoot that like button with a comment.